Welcome everyone for part two of our little mini series where mom and I are in Oxford, Mississippi. Part one, if you missed it, I will link it in the description below. We were in Oxford and we shared one of our favorite places with you called Discount Building Materials. Now, as you may have just noticed on the screen, we are now on to our next location starting out with the mustard seed. Today in part two is going to be two antique malls. I'll explain that further. But we start here at the mustard seed. Fun fact, I am a major Golden Girls fan, so it was nice to see these paintings of Rue McClanahan and uh, Estelle Getty, two actresses from that TV series. I have seen these paintings now of Sophia and Blanche. I've also seen one of Betty White as Rose. I've yet to see one of uh, B. Arthur as Dorothy. If I ever come across that, that may be a holy grail for me. Now, what I hope to convey in this part two episode with these two locations that I'm gonna share with you is that each antique mall, each flea market, even each thrift store looks different. And t starting with the mustard seed, this is known as an antique mall. It's also known as a vendor mall when you Google search it. I think that is a good representation for this particular location. When my parents and I first started visiting the mustard seed many years ago, it was very much what I would expect to see in an antique mall or flea market. Most of the booths had vintage antique retro goods. There was very little representation of newer products. Over the years, as the um, customer base has changed and evolved, so have these booths. The mustard seed is definitely a great spot if you are in the market for gifts, like this would be a great gift store. Um, also, if you are a younger student, maybe attending the University of Mississippi, which is based here in Oxford, they definitely have many booths here tailored to dorm decor or even apartment decor for those who are students here in the area. And you're gonna see that throughout much of these little snapshots. Also a great Etta B. Pottery booth at the Mustard Seed if you happen to collect that pottery. Now for our second location, we are leaving the Mustard Seed and we are heading to Sugar Magnolia. This is another retail store. It has never, to my knowledge, called itself a flea market or an antique mall but you definitely have some of those booths represented here there's a lot of newer items here a lot of mix of old and new together um, but again I think it's good to point that out just because we all have different expectations of what makes a valuable flea market or antique mall or even just retail store stop for each of us
there are multiple vendors at the Sugar Magnolia who offer products specifically for uh, Mississippi or Oxford, Ole Miss, Rebels. Um, so if you have any friends or family who has state pride or even school pride, definitely a lot of good items here. Again, thinking about gifts, Christmas, things like that. And as you watch, you may come to the same conclusion that I do whenever I visit Sugar Magnolia. It feels very much, many of these booths feel very much like a mini boutique or mini store within a store. There's a lot of things here that I recognize from market or even from places like Hobby Lobby, like newer things, but all consolidated underneath one roof. Now mom specifically loved the blue boots hanging in this booth and she wanted to make sure we captured them, did proper justice for the colorful nature of these boots. So as you see these two different locations, Mustard Seed and Sugar Magnolia, in today's episode, I'm curious to ask, what kind of things do you look for when you're going to an antique mall, a flea market, even a thrift store? Like, do you like them to be almost purist in nature, where if they're claiming to be an antique mall, they truly are an antique mall, a flea market, they truly do have those booths, you know, for flea markets, thrift stores, you know, truly secondhand, maybe some good deals. What are your kind of expectations? I typically uh, align with if I'm going to a flea market, I want it to be a flea market. If I'm going to an antique mall, I want it to be an antique mall. That being said, I still definitely appreciate coming to places like the Mustard Seed and Sugar Magnolia because I'm, you know, I may be in the market for something particular and I know, okay, if I need a Dolly Parton painting, I've seen a couple of them at Sugar Magnolia. Things like that. I think these stores do serve a great purpose. But I can understand too when you are just wanting to go to a flea market and then it not being that place for you. So did we find anything in this part two episode? We did. Gigi bought this really cute ba brass bamboo tray. $12 if you can believe that. I know these are typically running for more than that. And then I found a couple of things. Some faux pink tulips. And then a great vintage uh, jewelry box, hand-painted top, really nice. If you enjoyed this week's episode, we always appreciate the support. Let us know. Like, comment, subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. And until next week, take care. <laughs>